The government has lifted all restrictions imposed on civilian travel on the A9 road, enabling citizens to travel free to and for Jaffna and other parts of the country from tomorrow. Senior Presidential Advisor and Parliamentarian Basil Rajapaksa said that people will be given an opportunity to travel to Jaffna via A9 highway, even in their private vehicles, without any obstacles commencing tomorrow. The A9 road was temporarily opened following the ceasefire agreement, but the ATT maintained road barriers and checkpoints and charged high taxes from the public who used the road. The road was completely closed in August 2006 due to LTT attacks. Target terrorists had controlled the A9 highway from Vavunia, Omante to Jaffna Muhammale during their period of control. It was given to them legally through the 2002 ceasefire accord. Tiger carders collected ransom from lorries transporting goods and passengers. A Tiger permit was required to enter vehicles carrying essential items like medicinal drugs as well as civilians traveling in vehicles. The north and south was connected due to the one humanitarian operation. People can now travel via the A9 highway without paying any ransom. Landmines have been cleared. The reconstruction work of the stretch of road from the A9 highway is now underway. One of the pledges given in the Uturu Vasanthe Northern Spring Program was to reopen the A9 highway. MP Basil Rajapaksa said that this pledge has now been fulfilled. Any citizen can now travel on the A9 road using either private transport or public transport without any restrictions whatsoever. Senior Presidential Advice MP and Chairman of the Presidential Task Force for Northern Development, Basil Rajapasa said. Accordingly, civilians can travel to and from Vavunia and Jaffna between 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. With the forthcoming Christmas and New Year holidays, people could visit their relatives in Jaffna, Rajapaksa said. On a special directive from President Mahindra Rajapaksa, the A9 road was opened for the public on November 13, enabling the transport of goods to and from Jaffna. Initially, travel was allowed on a special permit issued by the Ministry of Defence, Law and Order. With improvements in newly liberated areas, the government relaxed the restrictions imposed on civilians. MP Basil Rajapaksa made this disclosure at a spe special meeting of the All Island Hindu Congress at the Vallavakta Saraswati Hall. Discussions were also centered on the development of places of religious worship in the north, including the Tiruketi Shwaran Kovil. Minister Milinda Moragoda, Governor of Northern Province, Major General G. H. Andrasri, and the President of the All Island Hindu Congress, B. Kailas Pillai, were among those present on the occasion. On March 2, 2009, almost after 24 years, the government officially reopened the A9 road to transport services of security forces. Even though the 2002 ceasefire provided for unarmed troops transport through the ATT dominated areas on the A9 road, the government and the security forces decided not to use that facility considering the risks involved. However, with the complete liberation of the A9 road and the north, the Sri Lanka army is now able to securely transport unarmed and armed men as well as material via the A9 road passing Madhavachya.